Okay, so this is one of the decks that I received today. Um, I actually received three decks and I'm still waiting for a couple of more. But this is one of the decks that I'm really excited about because this is really uncommon. As you can see, the writings that we have here are in Japanese. But the name of the deck is Alchemia Tarot Deck. I don't know how to read Japanese so I'm not sure as to who the creator is but it comes in this really nice packaging here is the guidebook it says Alchemia Tarot deck however just like what's written on the box this is also in Japanese so I don't know how to read Japanese yet so I won't be using that guidebook for the meantime. Now this is where the cards are contained. It's a box inside a box and then when you open it, another box. So on an environmental perspective, a lot of paper was used for this deck. However, in terms of taking care of the cards themselves, they did a really good job because of the multiple layers of packaging. Now, I haven't played with this deck yet, so this is still pretty much in order. As you can see, the style of the illustration is more on manga or anime, so to speak. Here's the back of the cards. The card stock is... A little bit thicker in comparison with our typical Llewellyn tarot decks. Um, I would say this is somewhere in between a Llewellyn deck and the Wild Unknown deck. And you know how gorgeous the cards talk of the Wild Unknown is. So this is the illustration. We have here the Fool. The Magician. And as you can see, the colors that was used in creating these illustrations are very vibrant, very light and airy. The High Priestess. The Empress. Look at the reds. The blues. The greens. Look at how deep, bright, and alive these colors are. We have the Emperor. This deck pretty much follows the traditional Rider Waite Smith structure from the way the illustrations were created. It's heavily influenced by the Rider Waite Smith and also the overall structure of the deck. It's also heavily influenced by the Rider Waite. This is the Chariot card. The strength card. This is one of the most beautiful hermit card I've ever seen. The wheel of fortune. The justice card. The hanged man. The Death card, Temperance, The Devil, The Tower, The Star, The Moon, The Sun, and if you're gonna take a look at the Rider Waite deck, um, we have there a creepy looking kid, but in this case, he's a bit grown up. Judgment. And the world. So that's the major arcana, and in general, the illustrations in the minor arcana are just about the same. We have the Ace of Wands. I'll just go through all of the cards quickly because like what I said if you are familiar with the illustrations from the Rider Waite Smith 
you won't have a hard time reading and interpreting this deck because it is very much based from that iconic deck. are now looking at some of the court cards in this case it's in the suit of wands so still generally the same as your rider wait smith deck now we're done with the suit of wands and we will proceed with the suit of swords And with this deck, I feel like I want to immerse myself again in the Japanese culture, especially with the mangas and the animes, because I am, and I think I'll always be a fan of cartoons and animation, and fantasy cartoons and animation to be specific. So I guess it's one of the influences as to why I am very much passionate about reading the tarot because the adventures in life the everyday adventures that we are experiencing it can be pretty much related to the scenarios depicted in a pack of cards and apart from the spiritual aspect of it it's more on the psychological and the realization part that we are all empowered and Sometimes we know what the answer is. We just need to have a little bit of push from other factors for us to realize that we have the answer. So we are now in the suit of cups. And as you can see, there is a bit of glare because the cards are on the glossy side but it's not that glossy in comparison to other cards it just gives the card a bit of sheen which of course plays a great effect as you look at the images one by one because again the colors used in creating the deck is very light very airy a lot of pastels a lot of bright blues and reds so the shininess of the card really has a big impact on the overall presentation so we are now in the final suit we are on the suit of pentacles and even if you're not a fan of anime or manga i'm sure you will love this deck because of how relatable it is and how easy to interpret the deck is. I got this from a local seller. I couldn't find this deck in the popular um, stores such as Amazon or Book Depository. Um, it just so happened that I was able to find one here from the Philippines who's selling this deck online. Got this for about 28, 27, 28 dollars or a thousand pesos but I must say it's really worth the money because this deck is really rare here in the Philippines so that's the deck the Alchemia Tarot deck and I hope you like what you witnessed because I loved it I love the illustration I love how easy I'll be able to read and interpret the messages from the cards and yep good luck and have a great day everyone goodbye